Where do I even begin, guys? Thank you guys so much for all of the comments in the last video. You guys dropped so many tips, a lot of advice. There was just a lot of info for me to just kind of like cram into my brain. Hopefully I remember it all. I want to go ahead and say I went nuts. I went absolutely nuts off screen, did a bunch of side quests, went around, bought almost all of Rome. We're at 60% rebuilt. I didn't buy any landmarks though, but I bought all of the stores. Oh my God. <laughs> it's just been so much fun. I did all the towers that I could, got all the viewpoints that I could. The ones that you're seeing out here, I can't go out here yet because I haven't advanced the story enough to unlock these areas. So we're not out there yet. I also did take a peek at the Romulus treasure. So I did see the armor that I can get in the near future. Um, I'm really excited for it. It looks really nice. For the most part, like the map is built up. I think I'm making like 10,000 florin every 20 minutes or something like that. So we're definitely up there right now. Um, I'm loving the gameplay of this game. It's been so much fun walking around, just killing guards and testing out the things that I can do with the gameplay. It's been a blast. I'm loving this game. Now you guys did tell me to, to leave the animus here and there. So we are going to leave the animus to start off this episode and we're going to check out Rebecca, Sean and Lucy, see what they're doing. Let's do that. And somebody told me to break time. Yeah, it's break time. Somebody told me to interact with this, but let me talk to them first and then I'll interact with it. What's up, Rebecca? We'll talk later. Oh wait, you have nothing to say to me? Okay. What about you, Lucy? We have work to do. We have work to do? We what don't about have you? Time for chit chat. Oh, okay. So I guess they don't want to talk to me. So maybe I need to come out after the next sequence that we're currently on right now. Hey, what's the matter, you out there? That's racist. You're <laughs> racist. Really? This is what you guys are doing. Oh. Oh no! God forbid I take a break. I've only spent the past three fucking weeks inside that machine. It's not wrong. No, no, you're right. Let's all just screw around while the world falls to pieces. Hey, this isn't easy, you know. Right, like we're all on vacation out here? Enough! Look, everyone's under a lot of pressure, but we're the only ones who can stop Abstergo, so we need to keep it together. She's right. We need to be a hive mind, people. Anybody up for some reconciliatory yoga? <laughs> Anyone? Very funny, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, why are they going off on Lucy like that? She's just trying to be a little hey, serious. What's the matter, you, Altair? Hey, what's the matter, you, Altair? <laughs> hey, what's the matter, you, Altair? <laughs> I love Desmond, dude. Oh, wait, we can go on this laptop here? I didn't even know that. Enter password. I wonder what his password is. Rebecca, what's up? MP3 player. Hey, guys, I can't find my MP3 player, the little black one. Let me know if you see it. I have trouble sleeping without my tunes. I'm just like that. Me and Rebecca can relate for sure. Uh, somebody told me in the last episode, they were like, Something that I've learned about Blaze is Blaze can't read emails or Blaze doesn't know how to read emails. I really don't. That's why I don't email that much. Erudito, who is this? Access, make sure you stay in the loop. Die Fox 23, Snowmass 84, Juno 57. Why is one of their names Juno? And what's this deleted one here? Lucy. Weekly schedule, Monday, animus session, everyone, supply run, Rebecca, clean up, Lucy, day watch, Sean to relieve Lucy at 3 p.m. Tuesday, animus session, everyone, clean up, Sean, day watch, Lucy to relieve Rebecca at 3. I like how they have chores. That's kind of cool. Oh, look at this. Friday, they have a team breakfast as prepared by Royal Chef Sean Hastings. My boy is Gordon Ramsay. Oh, man, you got to love him. They have a team meeting on Saturday. Animus session, everyone, if Desmond is up to it on sat on Sunday. Oh, that's kind of cool. I can go into Rebecca's emails. How do I know her password, though? Outbox. Desmond, hey, Luce. Desmond was screaming pretty loud in his sleep yesterday. It's getting worse. I don't know if you heard it, too, but I thought I'd let you know. That's not good. Yogurt. Sean ate both of them. I know because he asked me if I wanted one. <laughs> I really hate how she puts the threes as E's in her name. I hate that so much. <laughs> that bothers me. <laughs> that is such a middle school thing to do, bro. 
I did hear it, but there's not much we can do until we've reached our goal. I know it's awful and I hate doing this to him, but it's necessary. Thanks, though. Aw. I had two yogurts in the mini fridge as of this morning and they're gone. I'm hungry and annoyed, so who took them? Lucy said that? <laughs> I am supremely disappointed that you would make such allegations of your dedicated staff. This accusation is unjust, unfounded, and frankly, rather insulting from Sean. <laughs> Thanks, Becca. Sean, you're on cleanup for the next week. Oh. This just in. Rebecca is a Templar. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> MP3 player found it. Sean found it. All right, let's see what Sean... Let's see what interesting males he has in here. All right, this is the yogurt one. Sean ate both of them. Sean, you're on cleanup for the next week. And we already know about this. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. And let's see if Lucy got any juicy stuff in here. I know that one. Yep. Uh, we've seen that already. We've seen that. We've seen that. Okay. Nothing juicy. That's fine. Is there more stuff that you can do around here? I feel like people were saying there was more things I could do. Technically. Because there are things that I can, uh, oh, wait. Make sure you're back before dawn. There's an earpiece and a watch. Oh. These? Yes, take them with you. Oh, cool. An earpiece and a watch. Is that an Apple watch? Oh, it just teleports me out there. Oh, it times you. Okay. What can I do out here though? You only have 10 minutes to like search around and check out. That's not a lot of time. This place looks so cool in modern day, though. Oh, check this out. What is this? Oh, wait. I can follow it. Well, it leads here. Oh, is this our footprints? Is that what this is? I hope they explain Eagle Vision more because I feel like we don't really know why we have it. Why any of the assassins have it. Who has it? What makes it so special? I'd like to know more about it. Hopefully we get some answers to that in this game. Let's see what else we can find around here. Anything juicy? I'm glad I'm not the only one that gets kind of annoyed when there's vision things like this in games. I know I mentioned that in the Assassin's Creed 2 Let's Play. Because somebody was uh, telling me that I need to use it more. But I'm just like, man, if you make a beautiful world like this, I want to immerse myself in it, you know? And I do feel like... Things like Eagle Eagle Vision kind of uh, ruin that experience a little bit. It breaks my immersion. But I am trying my best to use it more. Um, something that you guys told me for this game in particular is if I use Eagle Vision around like the Borgia flags and also the feathers, it marks them on the map. I thought they were being marked on the map for another reason, but no, it was because I was using Eagle Vision. So I'll keep that in mind. And also we can buy maps. If we want to. For those things. Uh, but we have to complete shop quests. I do believe for that. And I did see that you guys said that I shouldn't sell items for the most part. I mean, I could look up a guide and use that guide to let me know like what items are safe and what aren't. But for the most part, it seems like it's just better to leave that alone. 
just keep everything that I have and turn them into the shop quests. All right, well, I'm going to leave. I just kind of wanted to look around for a little bit, see if there was anything to really like see. I probably missed something, but okay. Just wanted You're to check it out. I really wanted to see that interaction because everybody was saying go interact with the Altair statue. So I was like, okay, well, I at least want to do that. And it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. Okay, so what we need to do is continue on with the missions. I think we should do this Copernico mission down here. Uh, where is there a tunnel? Because I'm not going to like travel down there. I'm just going to use the tunnel. Where's the closest tunnel? Is it this one or is it the other one? Maybe this one. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, we need to go this way. Let's call our horse. This game is so much fun, dude. And I'm glad that you guys are sharing the same excitement for this let's play that I am. It has been so much fun. All right, we need to go this way. See, this is what was blocking me. That's why I can't get those viewpoints over there and the tunnels and such. We have so much money. Oh, there was something that I did want to do. And that was go to the blacksmith. Dang it. I wanted to buy the crossbow. Where I'm going, is there a blacksmith? There is, if I go right here. Uh, where's the closest tunnel though? Here? I guess I could go to this tunnel here. Okay. We'll do that. Sounds like a plan. Interact. I think it's one of these ones. Uh. Yeah, let's go here. Why not? Why not? Oh, I need to do the VR missions too. I'll keep that in mind. Because you guys were also saying that there's a costume or something that I get for doing that. So I do get awarded for doing that, which is nice. I love that there's so many things to unlock. Yeah. And they're not DLC or microtransactions. <laughs> Anyways, let's go this way. Oh, look at this guy here. Hello. What's up? Oh, oh, I thought I was going to tackle him. What? Okay. I guess not then. Yeah, I, I definitely wanted that money. Sorry, dude. The money was so worth it. The money was so, so worth it. And you get materials from him too, so. Can't complain, can't complain. Uh, later we will go to... See if I've completed any of the, the shop quests. Because I'm not sure if I have. I haven't checked that in a while and I've been getting a lot of like materials and such. So I probably will get something go up here. Yeah, that's a cool. That's a cool little shortcut right there. Nice. We have a well -established on -site. Okay, what do you guys got? Crossbow, for sure. This is what I've been waiting for. Let me buy it. Yes. I wanted that so bad. I do want this weapon, too. Hmm. Should I spend all my money on it? It's a heavy weapon, and it's a two-handed sword. It's pretty strong. I have a lot of money, and I make a lot of money. Hmm. Let's do it. Screw it. 
Please come again. Why not? Oh, and we got the crossbow. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let me test this out. Let me test this out. Where are there some guards that I can kill real quick? Of course there wouldn't be any guards around, right? Okay, so how does this crossbow work? I just saw the, the prompt pop up on screen, but I was too busy looking for guards. Okay. L2 to lock on. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. I want to see if we can if we can do any cool counters with it. It's gonna be so fun to use, dude. Oh wait, there's a guard over here. Let's try it. Ooh oh my God! Come fight me! Come fight me! Okay. Oh, you can do a counter. Let me try it. Let me try it. Oh! 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 <laughs> yeah, the crossbow is nuts. This might be my new favorite weapon. Oh my god. This might be my new favorite weapon. Guys. This might be better than the pistol. It might just be better than the pistol. So let's do this mission since we're over here. I think I need to go this way. Bro, I like this thing. Very, very nice. Indeed. <laughs> Ezio. La Volpe. La Volpe! I'm surprised to see you. Ah! And why have you appeared at my door? Wait, I know the answer. You always do. You want to put my spies to work? Then join me. In aiding Machiavelli? No, thank you. That man is a traitor to our order. A you think so? allegation coming from a thief. Right. What is your proof? He was an ambassador to the papal court and traveled as a personal guest of Cesare himself. I also know he abandoned you. Right well, that makes him useful. Attack. Machiavelli may not please all tastes, but he is an assassin. Not a traitor. I hope he's right on that. I am not convinced. Hmm. I'm starting to question him now, uh, too. He is meeting someone in the Trastevere right now. Care to accompany me? I will follow. I don't know, man. I hope it's not true. Do not be detected while reducing notoriety. Remain undetected until rejoining La Volpe at the Thieves Guild. All right, so just don't be detected. Um, is the market by me or am I going to have to walk really far? Uh, I could take my horse, I guess. Hopefully I get this section of the map soon. There's no viewpoints around. Hey, hey! I can take this way. Might be a good way to go. Ooh, hold on. Some treasure. Makes me happy. Red Jasper. Ooh. The little RPG looting in this is kind of cool. Definitely a nice addition. Let's go this way. Do I need to go down? No, I think I need to go right here. Yeah, there he is. What do you make of that? Uh oh. He might be a double agent. I don't know though. A double agent could work in our favor. Hey! You know what I mean? Volpe! My son Claudio has been injured! They are going to shoot him. Well, he was stupid. I will kill these. Go! Get the others. 
Oh crap. Kill the archers before the thief dies? Got it. Jeez. Here we go. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Wait, I'm right here. What do you mean? Oh, there's some running away. Pick him out. Oh, wrong button. Oops. Ooh. Quick, hide from the guards. I cannot. They are going to kill me. Pay attention. Do what I do. All right, this way. Blend with the crowd. They're actively searching for me. Okay, so we got to be careful. This is the part that we need to uh, try not to get detected. What are you doing? Come on, bro. Oh. Well, can we rock with these people? Bro. He's not walking with them. Reduce distance to target. Come on. Move. All right, we made it. Keep out of sight for a while, Desi. The guards are looking for you. I see they have posters up. Then rip them down. You can pay the heralds a few florins to silence them. Or I can eliminate witnesses. <laughs> you know how to disappear. Oh, I was wondering where this system was. I kind of don't want it to come back. I kind of liked that not having to do that. <laughs> that was kind of nice. Press B to bribe him. Or press Y, sorry. I like how... It actually shows me button prompts now. Because in the last couple of Assassin's Creed games, it didn't. And I hated that. It would say press something. And this happens. And I'm like, well, what is that something button? <laughs> so button prompts are definitely a nice addition to Brotherhood. <laughs> this game has so many like quality of life uh, things to it. Is this a witness right here? I think so. Oh, come on. Let me use the crossbow on him. Oh, the crossbow is so much better than throwing knives. Literally one hit kill. I don't know if it's going to be one hit kill for the rest of the game or not, but right now it's pretty nice. Oh, shoot. Got him. All right, I gotta go back. The Thieves Guild. I was wondering why I couldn't get Thieves as one of the factions when I buy the faction buildings. But it looks like I will be able to now. Are Thieves worth having? Does it really matter what faction you appoint at the guilds or at the... Uh, at the faction buildings? Does it matter? I just was like spreading them out. Like I would put courtesans in one building and then in the next one I'd put mercenaries. And I guess if I find more, I'll put some thieves guild members. I don't know if it really yeah. matters. I guess it matters if you use them a lot, but I feel like yeah. In Assassin's Creed 2, I only used them when I really, really, really needed to. There wasn't very many times I needed them, though. But maybe that's important in this game. I guess we'll find out. What a night this has been. Volpe, listen to me. I know what we saw. But you have nothing to fear from Machiavelli. I am sure of it. I hope. 
I have you to thank for saving Claudio's life. If you believe Machiavelli remains loyal to the Order, I trust you. So, what of the thieves? We had plans to repair this old building, but now that you and I are working together, I would like to know what you think. We need to make sure the Borgias stay away. Perhaps it could look like an inn. Yes. Hmm, I like that idea. A smart. I will make it so. Let me talk to this architect over here. Dude was just chilling here, ready to build for me. Let's upgrade. Yeah! That looks nice, though. Welcome, Ezio, to La Volpe Addormentata. The inn looks perfect. A sleeping fox. No one will ever suspect its real purpose. The guild will be run from here. Visit me whenever you like. There might be objectives to pursue that will help our cause in the city. I see you thieves compete against each other. You can participate if you wish. Perhaps you will show them a thing or two. Ah, yes, I forgot. We also have gambling. It is a great source of income, especially since we ensure that the Borgia guards always lose. One last thing. I need your spies to find the apple. It has been taken from me. We are searching the city for it already. Molto bene. Come to Isola Tiberina with your findings. I shall. Sounds good to me. Yay, we got another full sink, guys. Yay. It always feels good to get a full sink. Double agent. That was the name of the mission. Didn't even think about it. Yeah, I do think he is a double agent, though. I think that's fine. Oh, wait, there's a viewpoint here. Oh, this. Oh, that's why there was no viewpoint before. We created it. Cool. Let's get it. So I don't know if you guys saw, but since Mirage just came out, IGN dropped their top 10 Assassin's Creed list. I'm going to read it off for you guys and let me know what you guys think about it. Let me get this viewpoint first, though. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, I found it. So I don't really care about IGN. So take this with a grain of salt, all right? I just like to see these when they hit my, my X or Twitter timeline. So apparently IGN's top 10 Assassin's Creed games are number one, Black Flag, number two, Origins, three, Odyssey, four, Assassin's Creed two? That's kind of controversial, man. I'm really, I'm really, really, really excited to play Odyssey now since I'm seeing so much hype for that game. They're not the only ones that I see praise that game. So we'll see when it, when we get to it. Uh, Syndicate is number five. Six is Valhalla. Seven is Brotherhood. Eight is Revelations. Nine is Unity. Ten is Mirage. I'm kind of sad to not see Assassin's Creed 3 in the top 10 because I... I I, I really want to play that game the most, but it seems like people don't like it that much. But I hear great things about Black Flag, of course. I'm happy that Origins is in the top three. When it comes to Assassin's Creed 2, though, I don't know if Odyssey is going to be as good as Assassin's Creed 2. I don't know about that. For me personally, like just knowing what I know right now of that game, I don't know if I'm going to be putting it in my above Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin's Creed 2 was really, really good. And to see Syndicate and Valhalla over Brotherhood? Interesting. Very interesting. I'm definitely going to have to compare and contrast when I get through all of these games. I'll bring that list up again 
in the future and I'll, I'll i'll let you guys know what i think but uh right now looking at that list i'm kind of <laughs> it, it's got me a little excited i'm not gonna lie because now that i'm looking at you know ign saying that syndicate's good valhalla's good odyssey don't forget to visit my warehouse down like those were kind of low on my list for you know when it comes to like my most wanted to play assassin's creed games so hey maybe they'll surprise me maybe they're sleeper hits maybe i'm sleeping on them i guess we'll find out all right so we bought all of the stores here oh except the stable we didn't get the stable let's get the stable we should do the romulus lair also yeah let's get this stable over here so we have some horses look at that income we are looking so good when it comes to income it's just like the last game guys i had that game broken <laughs> i broke that game in the beginning is this a faction building no it's a landmark okay let's do this lair though I think we should knock these out so we can get the armor. If the armor's as good as what everybody's been telling me, probably want that armor. Uh. Uh. I don't know. You. I don't. Did you guys see that? No, I'm not the only one that just saw that right now, right? In the glyphs, we will get to. Don't worry about them right now. We will get to them. Don't worry about it. Oh! Okay. That's an interesting way to fall into a lair. Yeah, these are these you definitely have to play twice if you want to get the full sync, which I'm not a big fan of. It's okay. We already have 75 sync here. I don't really need to go ham. I'm good. We're good on that. Uh, this looks crazy though. I don't like areas like this. It's kind of sad. All right, let's go up this way. Whoa. Oh, I can't. Okay. I thought I could. Maybe I messed something up there. It's fine. Oh. Wait. Oh, I can jump right here. I should be able to climb over there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting the full sync. It's fine. Is there anything down there? Nope. Dude, with the music, this place is spooky. <laughs> I love it, though. I was really scared that a lot of your guys' advice and tips weren't going to, uh, like I wasn't going to remember them, but now that I'm playing the game again, they are coming back to me slowly, so that's always a plus. I can't thank you guys enough for supporting the Assassin's Creed series. Like, y'all don't know how much it means to me that you guys are actually interested in this Let's Play and everybody's just like having a good time watching the videos and such like it means a lot thank you i like being able to play like a variety of different games and i think marathoning games is like the funnest thing to do and i'm not bored i'm not bored of these games at all like we're on the third game and we've been binging them literally binging them and i am not bored 
I, and I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I would be honest if I was bored. If I was bored with of them, I would tell you. I'm not bored at all. I'm having a great time. I might get a little winded when we get to the RPG series, though, because those videos are probably going to be not necessarily longer, but we'll probably have more of those videos. So I could see me probably having to like take maybe like a couple of breaks or something like in between those games. Like I'll probably binge Origins and then like I'll take a while to like not like a long while, but like Maybe a week or so before I jump into Odyssey. But I think it does help that these games aren't very long, like right now. These older games are only about 20 hours, 25 if you're really slow at it. If you're just doing main quest stuff and you're not doing side quest stuff like me, could probably beat him in about 15 hours. But I'm actually taking my time and doing all the side stuff, even though I'm not doing it all on screen. Ooh, Vlad the Impaler coins. People were telling me that those are really good. And also the shrunken heads, too. I got to watch out for those. Yeah, I think the Vlad the Impaler coins are really, really rare. I'm going to need them for the shop quests for getting like uh, special armor, specialty armor. You could definitely get lost down here, man. This reminds me of the uh, the Paris ca catacombs. I want to go check those out. Oh, wait, does this take me back to where I started? No, no, this is this is different. This is different. It looks similar though. Have you guys ever been to the catacombs in Paris? I heard Paris is having a bed bugs problem right now, which is disgusting by the way. I feel really bad for the people that live there. Some of you guys are probably viewers of mine. I feel for you. Bed bugs are like my worst nightmare. I would hate to have them in my house. Nice torch. I love the cinematography in this game, but I do kind of miss the the little glitches that were like if you hit a button when the glitch happens, you get to change the camera angles. I thought that was really cool. I kind of wish that was still a thing. Okay, we got to do this carefully. <sighs> okay, we did it. Careful is key. What if we accidentally beat this in eight minutes? I don't think it's going to happen, though. That'd be kind of cool. I was talking to my friend's mom about this game. Cause she always asks me about my YouTube channel and she always is like curious about like what games I'm playing and stuff, even though she knows nothing about video games. But I was telling her about this game series and she was like so interested in it. She was like, oh my God, that sounds so cool. She's like, you're like learning history while playing video games. That's kind of awesome. And I was telling her about like the, uh, 
like the spiritual or mystical aspects of the game and she was like oh my god i love it she was so interested <laughs> I feel like a lot of adults would like this game. Like, I feel like a lot of older people, if they understood how to play video games, because the gameplay is kind of hard for a noob or a casual player. But um, if they could play it, I'm pretty sure they would like, and they would like it. They'd have a good time with it. But yeah, these games aren't the easiest to play, in my opinion. Like, there's just so many things that you can do. I mean, maybe the first game wouldn't be too bad. Oh, can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Does this count as me beating it or no? Probably not. No, there's a guy over there. There's a couple I guys. Seek those who lead the followers of Romulus. Uh oh. So I was trying to figure out if these are, if this was a real group or not, the followers of Romulus. I couldn't find anything on it, so I don't know. I don't know if they're inspired by something or what, but. Or if it's just something that Ubisoft just came up with because, you know, what the heck. Uh, let's go up here. Swing over. Oh God. Oh God. Um, where's the flag at? I hear it's sparkling. Oh, it's above me. Hmm. That's loud. All up in my ear. Perfect. I route up if I fall. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Let's go this way. Check this out. This looks cool. Look at the gems in it. It's definitely awesome. <gasps> Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I guess I'll be using that shortcut. I thought I could back eject from there. Oops. That was totally on me. Yeah, I needed to go around. Here we go. Now we're making progress. Now I can jump. Yes. Whoa. Ah, this place is so huge. There's just little things of treasure everywhere. Like, it really makes you want to go off the beaten path. Oh, it's so creepy down here. I am claustrophobic, so this is kind of making me feel a little weird. I think that's the one thing about the catacombs. I don't think I would want to go there. I went to the, um, the Winchester house in San Jose, California. That place had me so, if you know about that place, man, it is super creepy. So if you know anything about the Winchester house, so basically Lady Winchester believed that since her family created the Winchester rifle, the guns, that basically the bad karma and the sins 
were coming after her, right? All of the spirits were. So she built her house, this big mansion, in a way where it's kind of maze-like. And a lot of the house is unfinished in parts. And it's known to be one of the most haunted sites in the world. It's an extravagant house. Let me tell you, it's really pretty. I just couldn't believe how much work she put into that house just because she felt that spirits were after her. And she wanted to confuse said spirits with like this maze-like house. And it's just, it's nuts when you go to the house, guys. Like, I loved it though, it was fun. But it made me feel claustrophobic. I didn't like that part of it. Uh-oh, am I gonna have to fight him? What must we do to this trespasser? Oh, y'all gonna fight me? I got a new sword. Do not listen. Let the board just be I got a new him. sword. Drop your gun. Oh. Oh my God! I just threw that at him. Uh, I don't have my sword now. Okay. So when you when you throw it, you unequipped it. It doesn't like reappear in your inventory. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, but you you guys should definitely look up the Winchester house. Watch a couple documentaries on it or something. It is a spectacular landmark in America for sure. All right, let's go over here. Uh oh. Oh. Come on, come on. Ooh. <laughs> oh man, that's that's amazing. Wait, that's not my sword. Okay, there it is. All right, there's more guys up here. Let's get them, baby. Let's go this way. We have more room to fight. Come on, come get popped. Bam. Y'all are ugly. Whoa. Ugh. I don't know if I necessarily like this sword. Like, I kind of don't like the animations for it. But it's strong. It's just the animations don't look good. And the impact, like when Ezio hits somebody with it. It feels a little light. Not a fan. Search the followers lair. There's a lot of chests in here. Look at all this money. Let's go. Money is always good. You guys did request for me to do these on screen, so that's why I'm doing them on screen. Just like we did with the Templar layers and also the... Assassin temples or whatever they were called. I don't remember what they were called. Scroll of Romulus. I think there's another one that I can do too. If I do believe, I think I have it unlocked. It should be on my map. Yeah, I think there's only one more that I have unlocked right now currently. Time flies when I'm playing this game. All right, so yeah, it's right here. Do I have any more? No. Yeah, so we'll do that one then. 
And that's right next to the Coliseum, so... Is there a tunnel near me? No, there's not. We're just gonna have to ride there then. Yay. I've gotten used to riding the horse. Hey, hey! Yeah, but I don't know how I feel about this sword. How do you guys like this sword? I don't think it's that yeah. great. The crossbow is insane, though. Somebody said that I can hotkey my weapons or something like that onto the D-pad. How do I do that? Oh, I see. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, okay. We learned things in this game. I like it. Whoever that was, thank you. You're amazing. Could I do that in the last game? Because if I could, I'm mad. I went through the whole Assassin's Creed 2 without not, with not knowing that. What? That is so useful. Find the shrine to Romulus. Do not lose more than three. Oh, that's easy. I wish we had more of those. I can definitely do that. I know you guys were saying that um, apparently like the synchronization, those little objectives are basically what Ezio would have done. And I understand that and I get it. I know I get it that there's a lore reasoning for it. I just don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I think that's fair, right? Like I definitely understand that there's a lore reasoning for it being a thing, but that doesn't make it good. Like, you know what I mean? That doesn't make it fun gameplay wise. I'm all about gameplay first, lore second, when it comes to that kind of thing. Like, I'm pretty sure everything in this game has a reason for you doing it, but when it comes to, is this a fun video game mechanic for people to do? I feel like that's important. Uh oh. Leave him. Ow! Okay, let's get my sister. The assassin must suffer as Rima suffered. Whoa, who is that? What's this guy? Are they claiming that they're like outcasts or something? That's what it seems like. People don't respect them. They got cooked. Where's this guy going? Oh, oh, he wants to fight me? Forge of masters. You know nothing. I know you receive enciphered letters from them. Prove your innocence. Tell me where the code sheet is hidden. Never. Okay. Let's chase him. You guys know how this goes. You guys know how this goes. Yeah, but anyways, for video games, I feel like a video game is a video game, right? So, like, mechanics definitely matter. Oh. Oh, boy. Where are you going? Where are you going? But it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. I hope you guys... I don't think it's that big of a deal to me. Like, I'll just deal with it. I know it was kind of confusing because people were saying that like, oh, it doesn't matter that much. You don't need to. But then other people were like, wait, no. Yeah, you do. Because Christina missions, this is how you get them. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so it <laughs> does it matter or does it not matter? I'm just going to do them. It is what it is. I'd rather be safe than sorry. 
Oh, there he is. Uh oh. I know I just got a database entry, but I feel like I've read that one before. Oh, now you're on a horse? Where'd you get the horse? Oh, I'm about to get one too. Oh, baby. This is about to be fun. Can I tackle him off his horse? Never tried that. <gasps> I guess I could have jumped up and grabbed that flag. I'll come back for it, though. Wait, what? Why did I stop? Oh, crap. Dude, this guy is cooking me. No, go, go. These controls are not in my favor right now. Oh, he's cooked. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Get him. Yeah. Good night. Oh, we didn't get a cool cutscene or anything. That sucks. That was kind of cool, though. I must admit. That looked so glitchy, dude. Whoa! Oh my goodness! I didn't think I could do that, but I did. That was cool. All right, let's use the short blade. Oh, somebody taught me that in the comment section also. Somebody said, hold X when you go to, to execute. And you'll be able to either shoot somebody across from you or throw a throwing knife. Which is really cool. I did it by accident in the last video. But I didn't know how I did it, but somebody told me and that is great. Let's go this way. I jumped down. Woo! That's cool. Nothing down here though. Jump. 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 Ah, that's so cool. The shrine to Romulus. Let's go, my boys and girls. How do I go up? Oh, wait, I got to go this way. This looks really cool. Whoa, treasure. This is our third one, so we're almost going to get that, uh, that armor sooner or later. Buddhist prayer beads. Is there any more chests? I don't think so. Cool. <gasps> Another scroll! Number three! Numero trace. Hold on here. Inventory. Database. Documents. Scrolls of Romulus. I think I read this one. Yeah, yeah, because I remember seeing the armor. I have dropped to my knees. Breathe, catch, uh, breath catching in my throat as I try to grasp the spectacle before me. This same cavern has haunted my dreams. I've spent countless nights exploring it in my sleep. I was compelled to find it. I have decided it is here that we will hold counsel. Here we will plot the downfall of our enemy, our friend, our dictator, Perpetuo. Forty of us, each a senator, each a liberatore. Cassius has tasked me with the plan, though I do not yet have one in mind. Who's Cassius? The first council has ended. Our problem is clear. Our response under, undetermined. 
Caesar moves away from the Senate, placing his trust in foreign rulers, adopting the ego and pomp of his Egyptian. Ooh, we talking about Julius Caesar here? He refuses to rise when he addresses us and scoffs at our concerns. I'm not using that W word, sorry. He has created his own private Senate filled with deceivers, manipulators, people who have no business in Roman affairs. My brothers are eager for blood, but I'm not certain I can spill it. After my brothers left, I continued to explore the cavern. I have found traces of whatever pulled me towards this place. Whispers, lights flickering through cracks in the earth, a doorway that is also a puzzle. I must find the solution. Are they slandering Cleopatra here? Excuse you. You can't just be slandering the queen. 16,000 florin. I don't think there's been any new armor to buy. But I have a feeling we might want to visit the blacksmith soon. Just in case. I think buying landmarks is kind of a late game thing. Because it costs a lot to buy a landmark. I have I have no landmarks yet. And I, I don't know what to do with these aqueducts. I think somebody said get the aqueduct soon. Apparently the aqueduct is important. No! Oh! Got him. That man walked right past me. We got him though. Let's do the Copernico mission. I think we're almost done with his missions, though. He's over here. What's up, homie? What you doing? All letters are delivered. While you were gone, I determined the most likely source of these strange attacks. The master of the sacred palace. Who is that? A Dominican, appointed by the Pope, who ensures that Roman religious philosophy remains pure. He never liked my studies to begin with. Now that I have crossed the Templars, he has clearly retaliated. Where can I find him? Cardinals typically congregate nearby. Follow one of them. The Master likes to greet each one. Perhaps you will hear more conclusive evidence. It's an eavesdropping mission? Slash tailing mission? Yep. Tail a card will discover the location of the man seeking Copernico's death, the master of the sacred palace. Kill no one while following the cardinal. That's easy. Man in red. All right, let's see where this is, though. Are we close to it already? No, we are not. We're going to have to ride. Let's ride, y'all. That's actually really far. Maybe we don't want to ride. Hold on. Let's take a tunnel. <laughs> Let's take a tunnel there. You know, this game really has me being more curious about my family lineage. I feel like I'd be really cool like Desmond. Like I'd have a really interesting family lineage. Oh, using the, tu the tunnels will abort the memory and progress. Well, that blows. So you're telling me I have to to ride there? Aw, oh, man. All right, well, never mind then. I guess we're doing that. Let's ride, guys. Yeah, I've been really interested in my family lineage recently. Because especially on my dad, my mom's side, not really, because I kind of already know. They've already have done like extensive research but when it comes to my dad's side i have no idea I have absolutely no idea because i've already talked about like the sicilian side but which is my grandmother his mom but i know nothing about his dad i don't even know what race he is but that side of my family is so secretive about like 
where we're from and such. I don't I don't know anything. Oh wait, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, huh? I gotta figure this out. But yeah, anyways, this game has had me really curious about that. Have to remain undetected. Got it. Oh boy. Somebody's up here. Somebody is up here. Aha. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to kill anyone. I failed. <laughs> I gotta do this again. Dang it. Let me make sure I don't run into any guards because there are a lot of guards on the rooftops around here. Do your thing. How are tailing missions? Hold on. I'm focused. I'm focused. What's the reception in the Assassin's Creed fandom when it comes to these tailing missions? Do people hate these? Or are they loved by the fans? Master, Julian, any news of Copernico and the others? Nothing. Those fools, inundating the people with their theories. We can barely contain the populace as it is. I have dispatched my best guards to deal with them. I trust they will make quick work of it. Oh, I see what you're doing. We must stop them. All right, I need to tell Copernico what's happening. Okay, and kill all the executioners sent by the master of the sacred palace to murder the scholars. Kill all the excuses in under five minutes. Woo! I wonder how many there are. Let's try it, guys. Well, we got a full sync on that. I think for the most part we'll get we'll get full syncs. I think the only time we're not gonna get them is on the Romulus things, which is fine. I, I guess. Oh, how did he? Reload! 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 Dang, those things take a year to reload. What is it, a flintlock pistol? Okay. All right. I just wall ran on an invisible wall right there. That's fine. Totally not weird at all. Let's go this way. Got to save my scholar friends. This guy's cooked. Good night. Uh, where are you at over here? Uh. Guy over there. We're gonna have to find them, huh? With our eagle vision. Oh man, this might be something that you have to play multiple times. I don't think I'm gonna find this guy, unless it's him over there, which I don't think it is. I don't even think he's in the circle, technically. Ah. <laughs> nope. It's not him. Crap. I guess I need to go down to the street level. Oh, there he is. Kill him. What are you doing? Okay, go, go, go. No, 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 no. Get, get out of there. Get out of there. 
Use the lift. Bye. Going up. Man, that grabbing on ledge button saves me. Probably 90% of the time. Like I said earlier, playing this game, time flies, man. I love it so much. There'll be times where I'm sitting here like grinding myself and just like doing all the side quests, getting all the viewpoints and stuff like that, or collecting the feathers. And like, I'll be just sitting in a Discord call or listening to music. And time just goes by so quick. Yeah. You don't even notice it. Is it him? No. Hey, hey. What All right. He's got to be around here somewhere. Okay. This is this this mission is kind of annoying. Is he, he might be on the roof. I mean, we found some, yeah, we're definitely not beating this in the time limit <laughs> in the five minutes that it wants me to do it. There's no way. Oh, that might be him. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so not only do you have to check the streets, but you have to check the rooftops. Yeah, see, we didn't do it. Thanks, game. Now I feel like a loser. <laughs> it's such a double-edged sword, man. When you, when you do the full sink, you feel happy about it. You're like, yes, it's awesome. But then when you fail it, you're like, oh my God, I feel like a loser. I feel like a bad player, bad gamer. All right, let's see. I don't think it's him. Not that guy either. Hello. Hmm. Is it those guys, those big knights I just saw, the brutes? That just walked past? Yeah, it is. Good night. Alright, kill this guy, kill this guy. Big facts, big facts. Ah. Good work. That kick button? It's a lifesaver, man. Where would we be without the kick button? I do like how this game did punish us in the beginning where it took away the Altair armor and sword, but it didn't completely take away everything that you got from the second game. Yeah, we don't have the, the higher jump or anything like that, but I'm happy that we we were able to get our, sm our smoke bombs pretty early. Um, like some really key things. Can I still loot him? Yeah. What else did we get pretty early? We got throwing knives early. We got our poison. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's really nice. The pistol, we got to, we got to get the pistol early too. That's all great.
So, I mean, I felt weak in the beginning, but not too weak. And you were able to get strong pr relatively fast. Okay, we should go back to him. Uh, let me hit up a tunnel. Tunnel should be around here, right here. So I will have to say for a sequel game, that is awesome. Because I get so annoyed when like JRPGs are really notorious for this. When they have a sequel and they literally just find some kind of story reasoning to start the player back to square one. Kingdom Hearts 3 is a big, uh, big culprit of that. Uh, we need to go to the Coliseum. I know one series that doesn't do that though, that's a JRPG series, is uh, Trails in the Sky, the Trail series. Yeah. Monaco, I'm back. What's up? You are right. The master intends to kill you. I will not let his bullying stop my research. As you shouldn't. Tonight there is an eclipse. I intend to chronicle it. Good. But the master hunts for you. Better to die enlightened than to live in ignorance. Ooh. His end will come much sooner than yours. Mm. I have to kill him with the hidden blade. I like that quote though. Might have to use that. Better to die enlightened rather than live in ignorance. <laughs> so true, so true. Is that my, that ain't my horse? What horse is this? My horse was white. What? Okay, well, I'll take it. Whatever. Is this the same horse that I've had? I don't know. What's up with this little light skinned horse? I don't want this horse. I want my white horse back. Oh, speaking of that, so, okay, that guy was proposing to that woman, but, um, something that I don't know if I'm going crazy, if I've just been playing this game too long or what it is, but when you walk on the rooftops and sometimes when you're in the streets too, I could have sworn I heard some sex noises happening, some moans and groans. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. It caught me off guard when I was grinding, um a couple days ago because here I am like looking around for something that I needed and like I'm just hearing all kinds of action going on in the background and I'm like I'm like is the hub up in the back <laughs> I had to look <laughs> I said is the hub up in the background I had to look at my tabs on <laughs> it was a travesty here I have to use my hidden blade though because that's the secondary objective yeah Oh, so high up. Silencing the truth will not stop its spread. People are lazy. They will believe what we tell them to believe. That's facts. I sent my best man to find Copernico. You are already too late. Oh no! Is he gonna die? No, he's not. Nah, we're gonna save him. We're gonna save him. We got to. We have to. Oh, I didn't mean to pick him up. My bad. But we gotta get out of here, though. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 go back up. I have to escape the area. Oh, 
Okay, hopefully he's not dead. Well, we should get a full sink on this one. I can't wait to see the Christina mission. I really liked the last one. They're such a cute couple, man. I really do hope he like gets to stay with her forever and like she ends up in the next game. That'd be so amazing. Oh, he's almost here. I'm here though. Remain in the area. Oh yeah, here they come, here they come. These are their assassins. What are they about to assassinate? Come on. Cause I'm here. You ain't assassinating no one. Oh no, not the dirt. Got him. Oh wait. Got him. Is the world not marvelous? Whoa! Sorry, you should not be so emotional. You will find it all makes more sense that way. Perhaps. Cesare thinks himself the center of it all. But he circles the periphery with the rest of us. And did you know that the sun is most likely the midpoint of the universe? Not the Earth? Oh, smart guy. I see the movements of the moon and stars, and yet I can only observe. So much is unknown to me. This age of reason is but the beginning of an end I will never see. Mm. Someday we will be able to influence this world, to exploit the power of human will, to harness light and perhaps even travel into the heavens. But I am getting ahead Not of wrong. myself. First, we must see the sun spinning at the center. I believe what you say is possible. You should not accept my word. Not until I have proof. Soon. Buonanotte, Ezio. And thank you. Hmm. Very smart, man. It's cool to see that. All right, we should be able to do the next mission now. I think we're done with the side quest for now. Yeah, looks like it. How are we looking when it comes to the database here? The DNA still on 75, that's fine. All right. Let's make it to the mission now. Let me mark that again. Oh, wait, it's far. Okay, yeah, we're all the way over here. Give Ellie, we oh, we're here. Talk. Yes, I secured something of great worth from one of my contacts. We now have the names of several Templar agents Cesare has recruited to terrorize Roma. How do I find them? I can give you a general location. I suggest looking for signs of distress nearby. Perhaps you will uncover citizens who can point you in the right direction. My contact will continue searching for more names. This information came from a city guard. Yes. How did you know? Lucky guess. Grazie. Claudia, Bartolomeo, and La Volpe are waiting for you inside. I can't imagine how you did it. Virtù, Machiavelli. Virtù? Hmm. What have you discovered? That bastardo Cesare is in the Castel Sant'Angelo with the Pope. My spies tell me that the apple has been secreted to someone for a study. I am working on determining his identity. Caterina will be moved to the prison within the Castello next week. Bene. So the Castello it is. Roma will heal quickly with Cesare and Rodrigo gone. Only if the opportunity to assassinate them arises will I take it. Do not repeat your mistake in the vault. You must kill them now. 
I don't know about that. Ezio. We should not wait. Bartolomeo is right. They must pay for Mario's death. Do not worry. They will die. You have my word. Man, Claudia. Now Claudia's in the conversation. She's like part of the team now. I like that. I love that. That's what we've needed. Sir Ezio, I represent the combined resources of Bartolomeo del Viano, Claudio Auditore, and La Volpe. Through my associates spread across the city, you can channel your florins to any part of the underground you desire. Wait, what? You may have seen notices posted around Roma which allow you to purchase buildings. Income from your new tenants will be deposited with bookkeepers, as well as additional profit from renovations. Bookkeepers can be found throughout the city. Molto bene. Oh. So I'm going to be able to upgrade my stores and such? And landmarks? I hope Claudia plays an even bigger role in this game. She deserves it. She really does. Killing spree cheat unlocked. What? Cheats? What do you mean by cheats? Den of thieves. Oh, my favorite song. This is my hideout. Oh, hold on. Let me see. I can get this. Nice. What's my armor looking like? The double hidden blade from Leonardo. Leonardo's here. Oh, I didn't even know that. When are we going to see him? I haven't seen him yet. I'm going to get my double hidden blade soon. That's good. Oh, this is crap. Yeah, that's not a good sword. That's pretty good, though. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. I don't know if it's as good as the butcher knife, though. The butcher knife's kind of good. I'm gonna get this. That's true. Let me go over here to the art thing. Um, I think it's on the other side. Move. Treasure maps. Nah. Versus a map that shows up. Okay, I can do this. We have paintings in here. Cool. What about the tailor? Ooh, a large quiver. I get a medium quiver. I can do that too. All right. We're looking good. We can go to the bank and pick up some money, but I don't really need it. I might as well, since I'm by the bank though. The banco. Yeah, we got 21,000 just chilling. I knew doing this play session, I was going to get like a lot of money. So, um, do I have anything new on the map? Hmm. I don't really see anything. I wonder if I can go over here now. You know what? Let's leave. Oh, uh, maybe I don't need to leave the animus right now. That's fine. There's no exclamation point, so maybe I don't need to do it right now. In the meantime, we'll go to the mission. This is good, guys. We're we're really uh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! I didn't want to hurt that lady. Anyways, I feel like we're really progressing smoothly. 
We're going around. We're getting the armor. We're getting the swords. We're upgrading. I love this color for the armor, by the way. I think this color is fantastic. It's a nice dye. Salve, cittadini di Roma. Behold a sight most splendid. Caterina Sforza, she whore of Forli, has at last been brought to heel. Ooh. No one kneels as low as Lucrezia Borgia. Who put you up to this? Was it your brother or your father? Perhaps a bit of both. Perhaps at the same time. Oh. You did a bocca. None speak ill of the Borgia. The same will happen to any who defy us. Good people of Roma, stay strong. You will be free. Your time will come. I swear it. They are going to torture her. You are here for Cesare and Rodrigo. Katarina is a powerful ally. If we help her now while she is weak, she will aid us in return. Facts. Perhaps. But kill Cesare and Rodrigo first. Alright, well, we'll do that. I don't know if we'll necessarily kill Rodrigo and Cesare, though. But we will get Katarina, I bet. I actually read up on Lucrezia recently. Uh, just because I was so interested in her. And apparently... She had an incestuous relationship with her brother, which is pretty common for royals in this time period. So I'm not really that surprised by that. It's pretty gross, but you know, it is what it is. That's how you keep the, uh, the blood in the family, right? Anyways. Oh, ooh, I almost messed that up. Anyways, I think that's what Katarina was kind of referring to when she said, your brother and your uh, father, did they put you up to this? Perhaps both at the same time? That was kind of a, a dig right there. <laughs> but um, she was like the most ideal woman at the time. Apparently she was just hot to everyone. She, she, she married a few times. Um, she ended up dying during one of her pregnancies. I think it was for her 10th child. She had 10 kids. Can you believe that? Yeah, during the pregnancy of her 10th child, she died. I think it was right after she had the baby. Oh, I just failed. Dang it. All right, let's do that again. But yeah, right after she had the baby, she died. And I just thought it was wild to see how many people like res liked her and respected her and thought she was just like the ideal woman overall, right? So many guys wanted that. Which worked in the Pope's favor because he would use her to marry all of these different royals and such, right? So they could stay powerful. But I thought it was interesting that she had 10 kids. Jeez. A lot of kids. But back then, you didn't really live a long life. So you kind of just pumped out as many kids as possible. In a short time span. Whoa. Can I kill? Is that okay? Yeah, apparently. All right. Since I know I can kill gonna be a lot easier. I feel bad for her though, because I feel like her being used by her dad is pretty disgusting. She was definitely groomed. Forget the Pope, you only answer to me. Roma is the pillar that holds our entire enterprise aloft. She cannot waver. Which means neither can you. What of Il Vaticano? That tired old man's club. Play along for now, but soon we will have no need of them. He's left us Roma. She'll be in good hands. Uh, I don't think so. Let's go this way.
Imagine being like the ideal person that everyone wants. Alright, I don't know if this is really the right way. Maybe this way. I'm just gonna have to be careful though. Try not to get detected here. caught please don't please don't oh god oh this is a very sketch way of doing this all right we're good all right reload oh no oh no die 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 <laughs> the scream I wanted those crossbow bolts. I think we might get the full sink here, y'all. Let's go. Which is perfect because we're on a new sequence, so we kind of need it. way yeah Cesare Lucrezia Oh I hope you have treated our guest with kindness Dang I've got the mouth on her how I'd love to sew it shut I rather like it open myself Oh <laughs> Have you talked to the pope about the funds requested by my banker he is away from the castello, and he might need some convincing when he returns. That shouldn't be a problem, should it? No. Only it gets quite lonely here. You and I spend so little time together these days, busy as you are with your other conquests. Soon. Once I have secured the throne of Italia, you are going to be my queen. And your loneliness will be a thing of the past. I cannot wait. Oh. Behave yourself while I am gone. Like I said, incestuous stuff was definitely uh, a thing back then, but seeing it, it's still disgusting, okay? It's very disgusting. Not a fan of that. All right, let's hope we get oh, it. Again. The Captain General is leaving for Urbino. What a fortuna, Padre Cesare! Machiavelli is going to be very disappointed. Yeah, he's gone. Sorry, Machiavelli. Didn't really have an opportunity to kill him. Of course, I didn't. It's not that time. I know I have that database entry for Lucrezia, but I already know about her. <laughs> I've already like read up on her, so. This game wouldn't be telling me anything new. Open her cell. How was the journey to Roma? Did you sit in Cesare's private carriage? You're pathetic, Lucrezia. What did he talk about? His plans for Napoli? Did you like it? I can't remember. Perhaps you will remember this. Ah! That put you in your place. Lock it and give me the key. Hey, she spanked her though. Uh, 
I mean, she is pretty. Can't lie. Right, we need to go up here. I didn't see what age she died at, though. I'm kind of interested. Oh. Or maybe I did, but I just don't remember. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Ooh, that was so close. I thought I wasn't going to shoot him in time. Bro, that crossbow is so silent, too. It's just like, pop. I noticed they fixed the thing with the throwing knives that I had an issue with in the last game. So when I throw a throwing knife or if I shoot my crossbow, they don't hear me. They don't get alerted. Assassin's Creed 2, they did. That was kind of annoying. Assassin's Creed 1, they did too. Is there somebody where... Yes, sir. I don't know why I'm picking up his body. Is there ever really a reason to do that in this game? I need to go down possibly or up. I think up. This music's hitting though. Is there anyone in here? No. <gasps> Ooh, 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 ooh. Wrong button, wrong button. Anything else I can read, princess? <laughs> Y'all are nasty, bro. Ah, oh, I got detected. Oh my god. Should I should I restart it? It's whatever. What are you doing here? I'll take that. Paying a visit to the tailor. Rescuing me will provoke Cesare's wrath. Fortunately for us, he is away. Any chance there is a second key? The guard handed his to Lucrezia, so I assume not. Do you know where she is? Her quarters are at the top of the castello. All right, stay here. That key is as good as mine. I'm not going anywhere. Femme fatale. Obtain the key to Katarina's cell from Lucrezia. Do not lose more than 10 health squares. Oh, well, at least I have another chance. I'm really mad that I lost it right at the end of the freaking mission, though, but I received new emails. Yeah, that was pretty dumb, but it's okay. That's my fault. Maybe I shouldn't have used the crossbow there. It's all good. I love you so. I want to sing it to the heavens. Please, you must whisper it only to yourself. If Cesare found out, who knows what he would do? Are you not... What was that? I... I'm late for rehearsal. Farewell, my love. I'm just hiding right there. I heard the entire exchange, Mia Signora, and can vouch for it. Good. Tell Cesare. We shall see how it feels when the shoe is on the other foot. Yes, Signora. Uh, he's a snake. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. <laughs> Listen to this girl. I just walk in there. Please continue. I did not mean to interrupt. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. How nice to finally meet after hearing so much. A pity Cesare is no longer here. He would have enjoyed this. My fight is not with you, Lucrezia. Free Caterina, and I will stand down. Impossible. Then you leave me no choice. Uh oh. Are you really Guns. gonna kill her? I don't think Ezio would do that. Oh. Ooh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Technically. Ouch. Why do I have a sword again? Up into my other sword. Ah. 
Nice. I cannot leave you out here to cause trouble, so you're coming with me. Scream, however, and I will be forced to take your tongue. Dang. Oh. Oh, oh. Rescuing princesses <laughs> from castles now? Oh my god. Dang it. So I'm gonna be like picking her up. What the? Yo, why do I can't why do I gotta keep doing that? Oh girl, please. I bet you think you're doing great things. Charging around, killing whomever you wish. This is so messed up on so many different levels. Do you know what became of the Patsy once your hunt was finished? Your dear friend Lorenzo stripped them of everything and threw them into prison. Even those who played no part in ah! the conspiracy. Girl. If you don't stop. The women were forbidden to marry and the family tombstones were erased. Wiped from the history books. Uh -oh. Oof, just like that. Got him. Oh, please, girl, don't. Oh, my God. This is annoying. You ignored the consequences of your actions. Content to set events into motion, but unwilling to see them through. What? Girl, please. I just need you to open up this cell for me. Cesare will finish what he started and bring peace to Italia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not like you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be quiet. We've heard it before. Oh my god. Where is she now? Bro. <laughs> the ignorant make easy targets. Whatever, my words are wasted here. Hypocrita. <laughs> this place is so confusing. Maybe it's this way. No, no, no. Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is it. Hi, Katarina. Salute, Lucrezia. How I've missed you. By a party fotter at Troia. Oh, always a pleasure. Bring her here. I'll take the key. Dang. Classy. Can you walk? <laughs> oh my god! I guess we are going out the front. At the carrier? Do not be detected? Head for the stables, okay. He said, guards, guards! Boom! <laughs> Ain't no guards here. Guards, guards! Wait, it drop. As if I have the choice. Yeah. Got him. Uh, why save me, Ezio? With poorly taken, I am useless to you. You have a family. It is not your family. Who's doing all that moaning? Is that Ezio? That night at the villa, I had to ensure our allegiance to protect Forley. Do you understand, Ezio? Wait, so you used me? E la politica. Of course, I knew it. You did not explain. All right, so she did use me. Of course she would. Why wouldn't she, right? Uh oh. Oh. Ah, okay. We're good, guys. Girl. Do you not see me when it work? Let me see if I can get some, uh, bolts. Come, Ezio. This way. Yeah, I know. 
Caterina, di Dei, di Cesare. No. My name must still have some small value. I was left unspoiled. What is in challenges? Assassinate from behind. This way, per favore. What? I didn't know that was a thing. Don't you dare. <laughs> he let he giggled. That seals wrong for that. Figlio di putana. Never do that to me again. Yeah, but it was fun. You gotta admit. Nice. We might be okay with our sinks as long as we get a hundred here. All right, we got to go this way. There is a guard up there though. Can he see me from here? No. Man, this man is blind. You see how blind this guy is? Nice. Two gates opened. Oh, okay. I have to do this. Hopefully she's good down there. Yeah, she's all right. They definitely did her justice with this character model. I feel like this character model is really good for her. All right, I think we're good. Pick her up again and we should be out of here. Good work, Ezio. Oh, that guy doesn't see me, surprisingly. I don't think we're out of the mud just yet. Oh yeah, we are. We're good. That was the stables. Uh, hurry, Ezio. Right across the bridge. I will cover it. Oh my god, here's another one. Achieve a kill streak of at least five guards. We can do that. Uh, where am I going? Oh, that way. Oop. Oh, Ezio, go. Had a kill streak of at least five, right? Uh oh. Go to Isla Tiberina. Find Machiavelli there. He will be waiting for me. What about you? Someone has to stay here and distract the guards. Get back in one piece, or I will never forgive myself. Go! <laughs> That's cute. Okay, here we go. We should be able to get this. Oh, we didn't get it there. Dang. All right, we gotta we gotta let him come over here. Oh, what? No, 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 no. There it is. There it is. Oh. Ooh. Y'all saw that? The throwing knives there? That was kind of fire. What?
Uh, I think we're good with the... No, I can't use my throwing knives. Am I not going to get this kill streak? I could have sworn I killed five people. Like, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh oh. Yeah, we should have definitely got that. Uh oh. Escape the area. Sounds like a good idea to me. Let me kill these guys real quick. Actually, never mind. Just run. Just run. Oh, crap. You got this? Sure do. Oh, these guys are everywhere, y'all. They're not playing. There is a haystack here, though. We're good. Yeah, we did. We got the full sink. Yes. Cool. All right, let's look at our DNA real quick for that. 38% sink. That's no bueno. That is no bueno. But we do have a Christina mission now. Down there. In the memory of Christina, you know what we're doing. Gotta do the Christina mission. Should be this way. I didn't know there was courtesan missions or challenges or something. I had no idea that was a thing, but I haven't been in the the courtesan building in a minute. Brothel, whatever you call it. Keep going. Just keep going. Don't look back. Don't look back. Hey, I haven't heard this song in a minute. Bat, 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 bat. Ooh. My notoriety is high right now. I should actually kill this guy over here. Oh no, wait, this is all bribing. Bribe the Herald. I have to be, yeah, now I can. There you go. Oh no. <gasps> there is a witness right around the corner that I could kill real quick. Let me do that. I should go to the banco because we have some money waiting for us. Oh my God, we're gonna have like 50,000 florins, guys. Sheesh. I think we're getting to the point where we could possibly buy a landmark, but I don't know. I think I should save money because I think it's more important to just have money so you can buy uh, certain items that are coming up since it's early game. You kind of want those items. Like, art of, uh, like armor and weapons and all that. All that good stuff. <laughs> I'm too young to die. Oh. Uh. That's not what I wanted to do. Hiding spot right here. Is there a board to flag or something over here shining? Cooked. Let me get some bolts, bro. Yeah. 
Always nice. Oh, is that Christina? Hi. My beautiful, beautiful. Oh, look. Ah, uh, she just stopped running. That's weird. Apparently, people are saying that Assassin's Creed 4 has the best multiplayer. Thank you for coming. Of course, of course. Tell me, what can I do? My family's bodies. I can't just leave them hanging from the gallows. Oh, crap. I need to give them last rites. Send them on to the next world. Capisco. Lead the way, it's you. Oh, <gasps> we're going to see this happen. OK, because we didn't see the burial, but he said that he Save told me. his mom and sister that they had a proper burial, but we didn't see that. They didn't show us that part. Oh, my God, that's so cool. See, that's why it's good to play these games while it's fresh in your mind. On me. They've already these been missions are hidden. What are we going to do? Hide yourself. I'm going to have a little so they're not there guard. anymore. Oh crap! Beat up the guard. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Where are the bodies that hung here? They've already been taken. Where? Tell me where they are. I don't know. I think they were taking them down to the river. Oh! <gasps> no. No. Christina, the Anicon man. Why are you telling her to go to the river with you? They Aww. follow orders unquestioningly. That makes them. It's you. Va bene. I'll sneak behind their backs. Get my family one at a time if I have to. And carry them down to the river. Be careful. Aww. He wants to set them off. He wants to send them off and not have the guards do it. <gasps> That's really sad to see. That's really sad. Oh. Okay, wait, wait, put your dad down, put your dad down. Okay. I'm sorry. I gotta cry. Oof. I don't have anything. What the heck? I can't counter. Yeah, I can't counter these guys with my fists. What? What am I supposed to? What the heck? <laughs> oh my God. Do I, am I supposed to just not fight these guys? Is this like a sneaking mission? All right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll lose them and then I'll come back. Return to your target. Well, I can't fight those guys. Oh my God. I'm going to have to restart this because I'm just going to die. Oh, wow. Target died. I can't even throw them in the water. That's so dumb. Oh my goodness. Then what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm supposed to just let them. I guess that I wasn't supposed to get caught like at all. All right. I will get caught. Yeah, we'll just go. Look, and then the, the guards are just chilling over here in this area. Ah, oh, for two show. That's so sad.
I have to leave the city. Christina, I want you to come with me. I want to. But I can't. My family. So we'll always be together, Christina. It's you. I'm sorry. Oh my God. That's too much. That's way too much. Oh. Why they gotta do that to us? I feel so bad for him. Man, if that was hard for me, imagine how hard for Ezio that was. Jeez. Yeah, they they <laughs> they definitely tugged at the heartstrings there for sure. This game is great though, man. It's so it's so amazing to like actually go through the journey from start to finish. It's it's a def it's definitely a magical story. All right. I have a Ooh. Oh, we, we still can't get any armor. Sorry, I'm gonna be my my nose is gonna be all stuffy and stuff. I'm sorry. Oh, we get twenty bolts now. All right, so I think we should do. Wasn't there another mission or something that I had that I wanted to do? I wanted to go back to the modern day because I got new emails and stuff. I also want to read uh, Christina's entry in the database. Okay. Break time. Break time. For sure. We need a break after that. All right. Definitely need a break after that. Any news from the outside? Rebecca's patched in a phone line. The Templars are still guarding the border, and Vidic seems to be busy too. Doing what? From the looks of things, he's using Animus data to train Abstergo operatives. Meaning? Abstergo's preparing for a full-on assault. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Weren't you the only assassin at Abstergo's Animus facility? How are you getting data from them? Some old passwords work, but I can't dig very far into the network. That's it? That's all you're going to tell us? No. I'm kind of busy here. We see that. You ever killed anyone? Hello to you, too. <laughs> I dated a guy who was an electronics expert around the time the assassins first contacted me. And? Now I'm single. Are you <laughs> kidding? Of course I'm kidding. You think I would joke about someone I actually killed? Death is only funny when it isn't happening in front of you. I should know. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. She's not wrong about that at all. I noticed you didn't patch the translation software. Nah, it's still buggy. There's only the occasional glitch in the Italian, but if you hit any German or French, watch out. Gotta stay with the code. Any theories about that cipher Machiavelli handed me? That's you, I mean. I can't decode it without the key. It's a one-time pad. What's that? It's a cipher with a unique disposable key. Imagine someone used the first letter of each word in the Declaration of Independence to encipher something. Well, without the Declaration itself, you couldn't decrypt it. I could run it through the computer. There are some things even a computer can't do. Like, like love, Rebecca. Like love. You know, the thing that 
Rebecca just said really bothers me because like that's how people are and they they claim I really hate it when people like share videos of like people dying like I know during the Ukraine when it, when it was at the, the height of the Ukraine um, invasion a lot of people were like passing around like some things that were happening people being killed in Ukraine and stuff like that and thinking that it was funny and it really it's not man it's not imagine you being in that country being scared of getting bombed every single day, you know, losing family members, watching people get executed. That's, that's not funny. I hate that. So Sean, any lions outside the pride? Who was that girl you were dating, Kate? Ah, uh, yeah, Kate. Katie, 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 kitty cat, Kate. <laughs> Shut the pants right off her, I did. Yeah, right. I know for a fact you didn't even get to second base. Oh, did, did mm. you, what? What, what? what? We had lunch. You had lunch with Kate? Whatever, I got work to do. <laughs> I like how quiet he was. He was like, wait, really? My work requires attention, Desmond. I feel that. Hey, what's the matter, you, Aldair? I had to, I had to hear that again. Gonna get some eats from the cafe in town. Maybe it's not me that got emails. Let's see Rebecca and them. Rebecca and Co. I have no euro, so thanks in advance. All right. What about Sean? Nothing crazy there. Lucy, have anything new? She got one from Rebecca about the eats and that was it. Okay. Is that it? We have work to do. Baby's all ready for you. Cool. It is nice to take a little break and see what they're up to. And then go back into it. Okay. Let's do this. I don't have anything else on my map except this stuff here, but I don't think I can go there still. Then I'm also not sure if I can or not. Go away. Apparently if I unsheathe my sword, I can scare those guys from bothering me. I'm gonna go here. Cause we're gonna fast travel. Move. I should try it. I should have tried it there. I just sneezed. Okay. It should be... This one? Yeah. I can't wait to get some new armor. The new armor is going to be so nice. <gasps> Katarina. Where is Machiavelli? I could not find him. I brought the Contessa here. Katarina. Care to tell us where you have been? Looking for Ezio. What of Cesare and Rodrigo? Cesare rolled off before I could get close to him. And Rodrigo was somewhere else entirely. That is odd. Rodrigo is usually at the Castello. Very odd indeed. What a waste. 
No offense. None taken. With Cesare gone to Urbino, we must build our forces. The fox isn't buying I thought it. thought we intended to strike now. Impossible. Cesare commands a massive army in Romagna. You would never reach him. I say we work here, in Roma. Erode the Borgia's influence while restoring our own. And in fact, I want to begin right now. Volpe, bring Claudia and Bartolomeo here. Machiavelli, meet me outside. Take care of her. I mean, maybe there is something going on with Machiavelli, but I hope not. Look, the Borgia rob everything from the people to maintain power. What do you intend to do? We will recruit him to our cause. You cannot be serious. To win this war, Machiavelli, we need loyal soldiers. By recruiting enemies of the state, we arm those who have been disarmed by the Borgia. Go then. Recruit our first novices. Oh, we're gonna get assassins! Fight with two citizens of Rome against the oppression of the Borgia and recruit them for the Assassin's Guild. Do not lose more than five health squares. Whoa. This is gonna be cool. Oh, this is kind of like the, uh, when you had to save people in the, in the original game. This is cool. The save the citizen missions. They brought him back, but gave him purpose. Assassin! The liberation of Roma has begun. If you choose to flee, do so now. But if you choose to fight, stand with me against the Borgia. I am tired of hiding in the shadows. I will join you. Then seek Niccolo Machiavelli on Isola Tiberina, and we will make you one of us. Their lies will no longer mask your truth. Oh my god, I love it! I hope we get female assassins too, that'd be cool. Ooh, I love that animation. That's so cool. Oh, that's a woman. That's awesome. Yes. The liberation of Roma has begun. You have saved me. My life is yours to command. Women assassins. That's so cool. As there should be. It only makes sense. Oh, what is all this? Pigeon coops. What the heck? Let me recruit this one over here. So I'm guessing I'm going to want to go around and recruit all of the assassins that I can. But what do you do with them? Let's try one more recruiting mission. It'd be nice to have like at least three assassins, right? Assist the citizen. Probably up here. Dang! Women, let's go! The equality is insane. Yes, the liberation of Roma has begun. My skills are limited, but if you will have me, I'll fight with you. I love it. We have sisters in the brotherhood too. That is amazing. Equality, that's how it should be. Let's get it. Everybody gets a fair chance. All right. Let's go here, but while we're here, we might as well get this assassin. <laughs> I remember this comment that I got on one of my recent Assassin's Creed videos. I think it was on the, when I reacted to the, the trailers, somebody was like, for a black person, you really know your history. Like, <laughs> like I, it was just one of those comments 
where I was just like, I can't even be mad at it. Like, I just like laughed. I laughed for a good while at the comment. I was like, what? Don't be shy. It's like, it's comments like that where you're just like, bro, we need to get ourselves together in the gaming community for real, bro. Is this 1965 or is this 2023? I'm trying to figure it out. What happened here? Who did this? That monster, Malfatto. Did you see him? That way. All right. Malfatto. Hunts girls near the... Okay. It said I needed to kill him doing the what? What did I have to do? Kill your target using the assassin recruits. Oh, okay. How do I do that? This way? Okay, the courtesans are leading me there. This is kind of cool. Hold on. I like this. He said that way. This is fun. This way. Ooh. Oh my god, it's like the trailer, guys. I'm gonna be able to use my assassins. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Oh! Ooh! I... Let's go! I let my little men and women help me out. They got me. He didn't even close the eyes. He was just like, put the hand over the head. That was interesting. So it's as simple as a click of LB. That's cool. Use the recruit meter to know when assassin recruits are ready for battle. And I, do I have to just wait? Is it like a cooldown? Oh, they gain experience each time they are called. That's cool. I'm down for that. It's definitely awesome. Wow. Let me get some bolts. Uh, can we just go to the next mission? Might as well just do that. Oh, there's an assassin by me. I'll do that real quick since it's nearby. I'll probably do all of those off screen, kind of like what I did with everything else. Uh, glyphs, obviously, I won't do off screen. I will be doing on screen like we did in the last game. So don't worry about them. Is there a way to like level up your recruits other than just oh wait now it moved all the way up here okay pretty sure it wasn't there before I just jacked his horse. Bye. That was kind of messed up. I don't even need this horse either. Do not know why I did this. You can stand, right? Oh, that's cool. The aerial dismount. Yeah, see, being able to grab the beam while you're on the horse, that'd be cool. 
I should try that one time. Yeah, he's over here. All my peoples. Look at that. And they're getting their experience. The liberation of Roma has begun. That was bravely done, Signore. Grazie. Please, show me how to beat these tyrants. We will, we will. In due time, my friend, in due time. All right, we're moving on to the mission now. What is the assassin? Pigeon coops. Let me see what this is. I have no idea. I mean, these are where I was getting the contracts, though. I know that. But I finished them all. Recruited a new potential assassin, St Stefano. Has been added to your assassin skill. New signals awarded for the first, fourth, and sixth recruit added to this assassin's guild. Signals are subtracted when recruits die or are sent away on contracts. Oh, really? You can send them out on contracts? Oh, you can upgrade them and stuff? What? I don't have any skill points, though. None of you guys do. Six new contracts. Oh my god. You can even send them to Paris. Alright, these difficulties are pretty easy. Like the first ones. Spread rumors. That should be pretty simple. Let's send, uh, let's send her. 100%. Okay, we'll... Wait, two? Should we send two, though? How do I deselect? Okay, there's too many going now. I don't want all of them. Okay, so we're at 0% right now. So if I do this... Okay, now... Okay, so it's just him selected. We have a 100% chance of success. Okay, then I want her to go. There we go. It's an easy mission, so. Yeah, we'll send them all out for the most part. Here we go. Let's do this guy. He's part of my bar right now. Let's do people who aren't part of it right now. Yeah, wait, that's fine. You can go. What's going on in Barcelona? Does that mean you're going to be gone longer since you're going to Barcelona? Did she already come back? Dang. Or is this someone else? Oh no, this is someone else. Okay, I see. Cool. Alright, so we have them out there doing their thing. And then they'll be able to level up when they come back. Cool, cool, cool. That's another thing that I'll be able to do here and there. I can probably grind that out and get my assassins to be like amazing. I love little mini games like that. It's really fun. It's like an assassin simulator game. What happens if I send one right here? Oh, oh my god, that's so cool. Dude, I love this game, man. This game is so freaking good. This is so fun. Who's crying? Cry me a river. Ooh, cry me a river. Oh, no. I want this guy. He's got money and items and stuff. There's a Borgia flag up there. Look 
come back to that later. I need to get this guy. He don't look like he got a lot of money, but... Oh! And a... Oh! <laughs> and a... Oh! <laughs> Yikes! All right. Well, he got cooked. just had incense hey that's exactly why you don't need to be on the rooftops if you're not an assassin I recommend staying on the ground I feel bad. Is that a little boy crying? What happened? You good? God, I have so much money. Where's Leonardo? I'm mad. Amiga, why do you cry? They're going to take my mama on the boat ride. Uh -oh. They say I will go on the next one. Oh no. A man from the castle came with guards and arrested us. He scared me. They are scary. But you look very brave. Aww. Will you bring my mama back? Absolutely. Me and my recruits. Your mother. Down that street. Good. Do you have some place to go for now? My uncles. Go there. Do not stop to talk to anyone. Can you only upgrade them at the pigeon coops? Oh, I didn't read Christina's database entry. That reminded me. Who is this guy that we're about to hunt down? Let me read that. A member of the Sabatini family and a cousin to Raphael's student, Andrea Sabatini. Silvestro worked for the Borgia and returned for an Elevation of his status. After failing, Tessere, records do not indicate how he failed him exactly. There's simply the mention that Silvestro cocked up. Michele Micheletto removed Silvestro's left forearm. That's why he's got that, that like, claw. A claw is weird. Christina Vespucci was a well-known Florentine beauty and a favorite of painters. Yeah, she's pretty. Most notably, Botticelli who used her as a model for several of his paintings. Records kept by her father's guards indicate Ezio visited her frequently in his youth and that he was unbelievably dexterous. Yeah, he was, huh? As the guards were never able to catch him trespassing. In addition to her looks, Christina also seems to have been somewhat responsible for jumpstarting the career of her cousin, the namesake of a rather famous landmass. At a dinner party attended by Christina and, among other illustrious guests, Lorenzo, Lorenzo de Medici, she was rep, uh, reputed to have been in conversation with Lorenzo and Manfredo Sotorini about her cousin's brilliance as a sail sailor. Well, apparently, she exaggerated his importance slightly to impress Lorenzo, and Lorenzo, charmed by her beauty, agreed to hire him. Try Amerigo out. I bet after several years you'll name your shipping company after him. She was reported to have joked, biggest understatement of the century. Well, that's, that's, that's sweet of her. She's amazing. Oh my God. I see. Amerigo was an Italian explorer, best known for his namesake, the continents of North and South America. So Vespucci was the first person to recognize North and South America as distinct continents that were previously unknown to Europeans, Asians, and Africans. Oh. Vespucci made his discovery while sailing near the tip of South America in 1501. Oh my God. It all makes sense now. Okay. That's really cool. I actually didn't know that. I'm learning something new today. Hey, what I? Okay, I'm about to be sharing my knowledge with people.
Where do we need to be going? Alright, where are you at? <gasps> Over there. I think it wants me to use one of my assassins, though. Yeah. I see you, big homie. I gotta follow him, though. Wait, I can just leap onto that horse right there? Hold on, let me try that. Okay. Oh, I thought I finished this mission, but it was something else. One of my assassins finished their mission successfully. Oh. Yeah, everyone's looking at me. I messed up. That was my bad. I'm just gonna follow this crowd here. That guy's clothes are awesome, though. Look at his clothes. I love him. He's got some drip. Look at this guy. He's really cool. Come on. Keep moving. This was a good crowd to follow, though, because they're pretty much following him. Why is he running all of a sudden? Dang, that move. That, he's moving quick. That man ran for no reason and stopped. I can't believe I'm playing for this long. I had a big breakfast. Before I started recording, guys, it was amazing. Pancakes, scrambled eggs. All of the greats. Get him. Let's go. I'll let my peoples handle you. Dang, I just used the brotherhood, y'all. What's the point? Oh, look at that. It's so cool. Get it. All right, let's go down there and cook them. <laughs> Bring in the assassin. Wait, what the heck? Down there. The assassins are working. Look at that. They are working. What's happening here? Oh, my bad. Thank you. I do need to go to a pigeon coop. Oh, there's one right here. Got to sign some contracts here. Perfect. Free your prisoner was completely successfully. Additional skill points are now available. Okay, so we can finally level them up. Cool. Let's do weapons on her. Syrian sword. For this guy, let's do armor. Let's also do weapons. And then we're good. 
I might send them on. What's going on here? This one's still happening. Are they good enough to be sent here? No. Not yet. 80% is pretty good, right? I mean, there is a good chance that they might lose, but hey, why not? Let me let me do this assassin though. Hopefully he wins though. Hundred percent. Let's send you out there. Yeah. Let's put you out there too. Okay. We're good for now. Yes, sir. What can we... Let me see this real quick. We're at about 72%. So that's, that's pretty good. That is definitely good. Let's get this assassin over here. And then we can head over to the next mission. I mean, we're just, we're just pumping out missions at this point. Maybe I should start. Nah, let me get, let me get Leonardo first. I keep wanting to buy landmarks, but I'm like, mm, probably not a good idea. I'll wait until I get Leonardo and see what he's going to give me hey, hey. before I do anything crazy. Oh, wait, this guy here. Let's get him. Nice. While I was... Grinding off screen. I actually got jumped by a bunch of mercenaries or something. That was kind of interesting. I just like went into this like small area of Rome. And these mercenaries just like jumped me. It was so random. Assist the citizen. Oh, they're above me. They should be over here. Ooh, that's not a good spot to be. What's going on, homie? Oh, wait, what I missed? Yeah, oh, they killed him. Oh. All right. <laughs> they killed my dude. Well, he stood right next to the cliff. What was I supposed to do? That's not my fault. Don't stand next to edges of cliffs. I'm pretty sure that's a pretty simple life rule to, to follow, right? I mean, we can't be that dumb. Come on now. Oh, we need to kick him. Oh, nice. She's actually good. The liberation of Roma has begun. <laughs> you have saved me. My life is yours to command. How many times am I going to hear that? The liberation of Roma has begun. <laughs> That's going to get old real quick. The liberation of Roma has begun. All right, what's this mission? It's you. Over here. Ah, that's him. That's Leonardo. Yes, he's got to be here somewhere. That's him. I know that voice anyway. It's you. Over here. What in the Metal Gear Solid is he really in this box? It's you. Come here. 
Bro, first the VR training things, which seemed like MGS to me. And now the box from MGS? Yela. It's you. Leonardo. I knew you were behind the It's got a beard. It is good to see you, friend. Come here. I love him. Forgive me. The Borja have commandeered my services. Actually, they would have killed me had I refused. What do they want? War machines. I have constructed weapons for all the Borgia guards and other terrible monstrosities besides. They are very well designed, Ezio. Here, By the names tanks? of the Templars overseeing their construction. Cesare intends to supply his army with my creations. You must dismantle them. Grazie. Okay. I will take care of the plans and the machines. There is far graver news, I am afraid. They have the apple. We know. Yes, I know. I gave the apple to Mario. I am sorry, Ezio. Cesare left it in my hands to study, to make it work. Then Rodrigo took it from me. I know not where. I will recover it in time. Leonardo, I have lost all the codex inventions you once fashioned for me. Yes, mm. I double hidden blades. Them will be easy. I never forget the design. Let's go. But you must compensate me for the raw material. Really? They are not paying you at Il Vaticano? Very, very little. I bet. If we are to do this, we must appear to not meet at all. A hand is pointing. It's pointing to where you should sit. So sit. <laughs> I love him, man. Yes, maestro. <laughs> all right, so sit down. So this is where I'm going to meet him from now on. Whenever I want. Dude, he looks so cool now. Dude, I love I love their portrayal of Leonardo da Vinci. Like I can relate to him so much. I feel like he's me sometimes. He's so sweet. Envisioned by Altair in the Codex. I need my double hidden blades. I will return shortly. Let's go. Yes, sir. Why is that box there, though? They haven't explained that. It looks so out of place. Random cardboard box. Why I so many MGS references? What year did this come out? I scanned Leo's location into the map so you can keep track of him when he moves. Okay. Ooh. To synchronize with Ezio, you will have to destroy Leo's machines. I've marked the whereabouts of the Templars overseeing their construction. I'll update right. the map where the machine's locations are found. Another like side mission thing that I need to find. Hope will never die. Orale.